Only one game remains. We continue with Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. We went through Mega Man 9. Now it's time we reach the last one. Let us do this. The final Mega Man game and the road to Mega Man 11 will soon reach its end. We get underway with Mega Man 10. It starts with a telling of all the Mega Man games leading up to this. I'm home. There you are, Raul. Are you okay? I don't know. I think I have a fever. Oh no, Raul! I think Raul has come down with the Rubble Enza. From what I can tell, this virus only affects robots. You all need to be careful. It is the year 20XX. A new robot illness, Roenza, has begun to spread rapidly around the world, causing robots of all kinds to malfunction. Many humans find it impossible to complete any even simple tasks without robots, without their robot helpers, and without robot assistance. No one can develop a proper cure. A month has passed following the outbreak, and the situation worsens. The infected robots turn violent and attempt to take over the world. Help! Why are we? One of the infected robots went crazy and attacked me. I've spent the last few days stalking this Roboenza. But even my genius was unable to find a cure. So I built a machine that would help me discovering the key to developing a cure. But it was stolen by one of those infected robots. I beg you. You have to help me get my medicine making machine back. I suppose if we want to stop those robots, we'll have to help you. Leave it to me. I'll stop those robots. I'll find Dr. Wally's medicine making machine, and then we can cure all the robots. And roll. Proto Man. I don't think you'll be able to do this on your own. I appreciate any help, Proto Man. Let's do this! And that is the intro for the 10th entry in the series. This is Mega Man 10, released in 2010, two years after Mega Man 9. So yeah, we have our work cut out for us, don't we? Let's get this show started. And like in the last game, we can get started. We can start with a new game, but interestingly enough, you can now choose one of two characters, Mega Man or Proto Man. You can obviously tell the difference. Mega Man shoots, jumps, and that's it. Proto Man has access to a charge shot, slide, and a shield that blocks frontal attacks when he jumps. Only caveat, he suffers double damage. So we're doing this with Mega Man. And they've also added difficulties. You can do it in easy, you can do it in normal, but that's it. You have to actually beat the game to unlock hard mode. So we'll do it on normal then. And here are your new Robot Masters. Eight of them. Solar Man, Sheep Man, 
Commando Man, Pump Man, Strike Man, Nitro Man, Chill Man, and Blade Man. We're starting with him. Man, Shape Man. Okay, I'll admit, this is actually a bigger improvement than Mega Man 9. No longer they'll be like pretty much like ripping off, like having music based off Mega Man 2. This time it stands on its own two feet. Except for that. Dang it. First few seconds and I die. Whatever. I don't really care. This is the last Mega Man game I have to do before Mega Man 11. And if you're watching this by this point, Mega Man 11 is coming out in a matter of days. And yeah, you gotta watch out for those blocks. Mega also has access to the Rush Coil by default. And I feel like, like Mega Man 9, you have to actually, like, I don't know, you have to, like, beat the world, beat, beat five Robot Masters to unlock. Make sure to get as many screws as possible. You're gonna need them all. Let's hope we can manage this. And now they bring out more screws for us to get. And they even have a set timer. Much better. I'm like this. Hopefully this does gives us a good challenge. And we also get mini bosses. So for God. Yeah, there you go. Let's move. And yeah, this game came out first on the Wii, then I believe PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. You wouldn't get like DLC for the game until much later. That made it easier. No, you're not getting that chance. See what I mean? Not no chance. They just had to bring those blocks back, did they? Make my day a lot harder. There you go. Okay, I think I figured out the gimmick with this. And Mega Man also introduces us to the weapon tank. Is it worth taking a risk? Yeah, because the weapon tank, similar to the energy tanks in Mega Man 9 and every other game, refills your weapon energy. Surprisingly enough, 
they actually finally decide to bring it in. Nice. We got plenty of bolts. We're gonna need them. Alright, let's head to the boss. Yes, this is the first part, and I'm actually gonna be going through all the robot masters. Nice. New. They've even added ch achievements, too. Time to take down Sheep Man. Yeah, Sheep Man's kind of annoying. You gotta watch out for when he moves. The last one, that's where he is. Yeah, but uh, I, if I wish, I would have played this in hard mode. And I also like the boss music. Yeah. I'll get better at this, trust me. I can't screw around. And I also gotta start saving up. They actually now making sure we get like a ton of bolts this time. Or screws, whichever. I still can't wait for Mega Man 11. Coming out in a matter of days. Sheep Man's weakness is the rebound striker, but we don't even have that weapon. Oh well, yeah, if you were doing this in hard mode, expect the challenge to be a little harder. Is that all you got? Even with all that health, you're still not gonna beat me. Jump! Yeah, Sheep Man's patterns are simple enough if you actually know what you're doing. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> and they even made the one ending one better. I like it. And with this, we acquire the first weapon, the first of many. This one nets us the Thunder Wall. Thunder Wall basically lets you form a cloud, which strikes lightning bolts. Useful for weapons and enemies that like to stick around. And you can also access the shop. Which, let's do it. Here's your shop. And you can use the screws you collected to purchase items from said shop. They now have energy tanks, weapon tanks, and the mystery tanks. Make sure you get one, but the priority is the energy balancer. We need that. The energy balancer lets you convert weapon at any leftover weapon energy to the weakest weapon. And I know I'm gonna have a field day not only gonna be grinding for energy tanks, but I need to make sure to be prepared for the end. Alright. With Sheep Man down, we move on to the next one. Pump Man! Now we go from a different sort of stage. This reminds me of Toxic Seahorse from Mega Man X3. Yeah, small screws get you two, while big ones get you ten. Just letting you know that right now. Oh, they brought these guys back from Mega Man 9. How nice. Ah, man. How dirty. Oh yeah, if you get ingested by that, expect to speed up and slow down. And also make you heavy as a brick. Slippery physics. I hate slippery physics. I truthfully don't like that. And they even got multiple enemies to deal with. Enemies underwater too.
We gotta get that out of my system. Nice. Yeah, because the water's pushing you down, meaning that you won't be able to get far. And this stage, this game, this stage also has alternate paths. I like that they bring alternate paths back from, make, from previous Mega Man games. It not only makes it more challenging, but also provides a bit more versatility. Meaning that one minute you can find something of interest, and the next... Alright, I got three lives. Come on, I know you're gonna be screwing that out. Oh, come on, really? Wait, so which one leads to what? I knew the water. I knew the water was trying to slow us down. You know, that wasn't gonna stop us. The large screws now give you 20 instead of 10. I cannot blame them for having to make this change. Because, yeah, after what happened with Mega Man 9, with you being able to, like, oh, I don't know, being able to, like, grind and pump it and jump in Blood Man stage so you can be able to net, like, a lot? Yeah! We need to fix that. Yeah, to fix that. Alright, much better. Thank god I got the energy balancer by default. And we make it to the end. We're gonna need the Thunder Wall for this one. That's Pump Man's weakness. So if you're fighting him in hard mode, he actually becomes a bit more tougher. You gotta wait to keep your distance a bit. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. I hated having to waste all that. I gotta fight him the old fashioned way. He'll jump twice, three times, and then launch the water shield around. Not a hard fight, but the most annoying thing about it is that you gotta wait till you actually heal damage. If you wanted to, you could actually beat these guys without needing any of the special weapons. Like that. If I wanted to, I could have just done that. Another weapon in the bag. Excellent. But you actually don't notice much on the color scheme. He's still the same color, but still. We acquire a new weapon, the Water Shield. It is sadly not as powerful as the Jewel Satellite. Which is without a doubt the best weapon in the game. Now to head back to the shop and stock up. Like the Mystery Tank, which is what we're gonna definitely need. The Weapon Tank. And an energy tank. Oh wait, they changed. They made it 30 now. Okay. Guess it means I'm gonna have to grind. We beat Pump Man. Next stop, time to take the heat. Solar Man. Time to 
gonna turn up the heat. Let's go! Let the fun begin. You think your little pea shooter is gonna stop me? Nope. And I also like the music here. This is just really stellar. All these guys are pretty simple to predict. Just jump up when it shoots, and you'll be fine. And yeah, watch out for these blocks. They can cast Fission, which can split themselves up. Though so you can actually use that to your advantage. Take that out! Stop that! No, now it's actually getting really deep. That all bird brain? You're not even trying! Really? Now they're gonna add this again? Oh my god! Nice, made it up. You gotta wait for them to rise up. Like that. Fine, let's get the rush coil. I'm gonna have to stock up on E-Tanks to no avail. And dead. At least the checkpoint system is still good. Let's try it again. Though so if we were doing this in hard mode, those guys would have came out a bit faster. In fact, many of the enemies. But I'm doing this in normal because, well, it's pretty much as it is. Though so if you have bought in the DLC and playing the original Mega Man 10, that's fine. Nice. Not that. May as well take my chances. Seriously? I kind of prefer the left path to the right. This gives me an E-Tank. Kinda head straight back down. Yeah, simple. These guys really need to do better. Wait for it to shoot and then fire. And we made it. The weakness for this boss fight? The water shield. Yeah, time to give Solar Man a well deserved cool off. And as far as the challenges go, yes.
Seriously, all it does is just move around like an idiot. Come on. Oh, I think I know what it's doing. It's jumping up and shooting the solar blaze. At least, thankfully, now you can be able to switch weapons on the fly. Similar to how it was in Mega Man X. With a simple button press. Yeah, that should teach you! And Ms. Nets has a nice new weapon for us. We obtain the Solar Blaze. It's a little miniature orb that fires out two solar shots, left and right. This is best used against enemies that are like on the side of it. May as well get an E-Tank and an extra life. With Solar Man defeated, Time to chill with Chill Man. Oh, we go from the from the factory to the Arctic. I would have thought. Looks like I gotta worry about my brother now. Anyway, yeah, I had to mute because my brother came in and I have to help him out. I can't say no to my brother. Also, there's a gimmick with this level. See the ice cubes that you're stepping on? Watch your step. One false mistake and you fall. Though this can also be used to your advantage. Like I said, just be careful where you move. Okay, I got the extra life. Should make up for the one I lost. But hey, you never know. If I had the Hornet Chaser, I would have homed in on it easily. Like I said, I'm just one person who can only do so much. I mean, there are people asking me, when are you going to do the Net Kingdom Hearts recoded? You guys got to understand. Got, I'm just one guy who can only do so much. And people are asking me, as if, yeah, I, have a, I don't have that much of a fan base. Well, if I did, it would be a little more of a big family plus. And yeah, you can actually shoot the ice, which makes it worse. Just saying. Oh, this one's a toughie. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? Much better. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can just do it like this now. Alright, so what's up top? Nice, another weapon tank. Unlike most games, you can carry like multiple weapon tanks and energy tanks. Okay, that was a bad move on my part. Very bad. What was I thinking? Thanks! You kind of made my work a bit easier. Seriously? 
Gotta watch my snap now. And there's that! Come on! Yeah, I don't mind the noise, though. I always love that. Sometimes the environment can be your best weapon. Oh, man! If I had the rush jet, I wouldn't have to worry. Two lives left. Better make this count. Thank God. Now I gotta deal with this problem. Fine, let's put the water shield to work. Oh my God, I forgot the water shield just punctured right through. Sheesh. He's made it through solid ground and I made it on skate. Yeah, a chill man can really drive you nuts. Oh, jeez. And dead! Come on! We're doing this again. I don't care. We're gonna beat this even if it kills me. I already beat him like, what, three Robot Masters and I got my first game over here? Not fair. It ain't right. very much. Oh, 
Oh yeah, God, I don't have to do that. Thank God they added this option. It's just that I felt that it was like back to the old Mega Man game. At least I can pretty much use this to get, like, more. I already have, like, we three weapon tanks. My priority is getting tons of energy tanks to survive. Especially at the end. Ain't worth the trouble, and I died for the end. Seriously. You know what? Fine. Time we use the solar blaze and teach Chill Man a little lesson in pain. Let's do it. Yeah, I really need to do better. Wait, did he actually get frozen? And that's it. Sorry about this. Yeah, I got a cough. But either way, we unlocked a new weapon. And it's the Chill Spike. It's using its enemies on the ground. And we also obtain the Rush Jet, which can be acquired after getting, like, I don't know, four, defeating four robot bats. Thank goodness, though. Another energy tank, and another life. Let's save our game as well. Three energy tanks, three weapon tanks, and a mint kit. Okay. Well, we got a lot. Uh. Whoa! Oh, it's you, Mega Man. Thanks to you, I was able to create a prototype cure. Once we have all the pieces to the machine, we can start mass producing the medicine. I think everything's going to be okay. That's great news. I'll go back out there and get those missing pieces. Before you go, Mega Man, are you sure you're not seen suffering from any symptoms of Roboenza? No, I'm great. Use the medicine you have on these who really need it. Well, if that's what you want... He's doing the right thing. What else? Now it's time we head it up to speed with Nitro Man. Now we reach stage five. And they had to bring these kind of sniper Joes back. Mark tanks. Yeah, at least we have with this, it'll be easier. Really? How do I keep getting hit? Come 
Let me time my jump so I can reach to get that ball up there. Yeah, base could actually plow right through it. Much better. I needed the ride anyway. Really? Now they're adding trucks? Ow. And dead. I died by traffic. This is rich. Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> Ow. Come on, seriously. Yeah, you gotta be real quick about it. Fine, I don't care if I take the hit. I need a light. Oh yeah, there's also that. Hitting those stops them in their tracks. Come on, I can do this. Good, I need to get over. Yeah, it was quiet most of the time. Sorry. What well, was in the middle? At least I got these. And we made it. Yeah, I hate. I always hate. Much better. What? No traffic. Stop that. It's getting annoying. And now we face off against the next boss. We'll need the chill spike. Not bad. Yeah, this is a robot master that also transforms into a motorcycle. Who has these things? Well, the better strategy with this is that you gotta have them drive into it. Ah, I don't think it really matters that much, right? Not another robot master bites the dust. We obtain also a new weapon in the process. 
This is the wheel cutter. This weapon is twofold. Not only is it an offensive weapon that goes through a side, but you can also use it to reach through walls really fast. Five Robot Masters down. And let's see if we can stock up on more E-Tanks. What? Yeah, I wasted one already. Alright, now we got two left. So let's do it. Now with this weapon, we go Commando with Commando Man. We gotta deal with not only the deserts, but also sandstorms. You gotta watch your step. Just imagine this well enough. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I forgot. also alternate pathways too. I like that this state this game gives us various alternate paths. And then this happens. Come on! Anyway. Yeah, sorry. It's just that when you have family around, you just want to get your stuff recorded, it gets distracting. It gets distracting with family around, and you always gotta tell them to be quiet, and they don't bloody do that! It aggravates me. I'm gonna wait for the sandstorm to subside, because I'm not taking chances. Oh my god! You get hit and then you end up falling. Stupid! Just dumb! Ugh. All I want to do is take a shortcut so I can get some nice rewards. What's wrong with that? That's better. Can't believe I suffered a lot of damage. Three lives lost because I can't reach the other side. You know what? I'll have to do it the old fashioned way, using Rush Death the whole way through. Oh, wait, I actually gotten more lives. No wonder. Currently, you don't have to work. Sandstorm again. Yeah, let's see them try to reach me now. Don't bother! Thank god I got the rush jet when I could. All that, just to reach the other end. Yeah, alright. Nice, it refilled the rush jet as well. And yeah, who'd have thought a military base would be home to all this? I truthfully don't mind Ultimate Pathway, because it really does allow a lot more versatility in your game. And I wish more Mega Man games gave you that option. Option to have different pathways. Sometimes you get like rewards, sometimes you get like a different challenge. It works. And I think it's here where the sand's gonna kick in.
Yeah, if the sand's moving left, keep pushing right. Thanks, I think. No, I'm not gonna take chances with this. Are you serious? Why do they gotta do this for? What is wrong? I swear, what is wrong with this handsome guy? Okay, I can work with that. And Morash Jet also has another use. Bypasses the sands. I love that. Fine, may as well have my other weapons to get to work. You know what? I'll be right back. This won't take me long. Alright, let's continue. And end the fawn down. Yeah, that's at this point in the game where you have to pretty much rely on using that. Ugh. I've already died so many times, I'm already getting a headache. I just want to beat this and be done with it. Doesn't help that I have my family calling me, making noise. They can't learn to respect my privacy. I don't like that. I hate it, truthfully. Whatever. These things are just an annoyance, I swear. May as well take advantage of this. And there you go. Nothing like using the sands to be able to reach far. I love that. And for this, we are going to need the wheel cutter. Now, I want to get this finished at least. Because the only thing that remains afterwards is Wily's Fortress. And we gotta deal with Commando Man now. like that. Its weakness is the wheel cutter, not hard. At least we got it done, so that's good enough. And we obtain a nice little weapon, the Commando Bomb. This weapon's useful because of not only being able to aim down or up, but when it hits the ground, it lets out a shockwave, which can really be useful. Alright, let's just put the rest of it on extra lives. Three lives and what I need. And considering there's an easier way to do it, we move on now with the Blade Man. And no, it's not based off the Mega Man 3 one that was like for PC. This is a different sort of Blade Man. Blade Man with blades for hands, for arms. Yeah, 
Jeans Castle. This is new. Okay, so how do I do this? That's what I'm talking about. Flies off, man. Yep, you just see this little thing. And now we gotta do it really fast. Okay, it can't be this big, right? Oh, who am I kidding? Yeah, the water shield makes it look easy. Yeah, sub me, you lose. Keep on pushing that thing forward. There, much better. Let's put that commando bomb to work. Oh no, 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 no. I mean, seriously, what's the point of that? Really? I said... Wait, I... Fine, I'll take the fall if I have to, but I wasted all my commando bomb! That's okay, I've got plenty of weapon tanks. Don't say. What's the point of that when I can just do this? Thank you, Rush. Thanks, Rush. You were a big help. Now I gotta use this commando bomb to take down Blade Man. Even though I wasted a lot of it just to get one extra life. Stupid. God dang it.
Yeah, he has a simple yet effective strategy. And I'm gonna end up being wiped by this at this rate. Doesn't matter, I'll waste it on two E tanks. Yeah, if it was in hard mode, he'd be throwing five blades. Seriously, you're forcing me to waste a lot of this? Fine. Oh yeah, and when you use a weapon tank, yeah, it only limits it to one weapon this time. Oh yeah. There you go. Maybe waste one energy tank and a weapon tank for this? Thank god that's dealt with. And with it, we obtain a very useful yet interestingly good weapon. The Triple Blade. And yeah, it's useful on the ground or in the air, it don't matter. Yep, we're only one weapon missing. Well, for now... There. Got three energy tanks and four lives. And now the last one, Strike Man! It's time we put an end to this. I wonder, I wonder what are we gonna deal with today? Okay, now it's starting to make sense. What's this? Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I see. You're supposed to deal damage to the head up top. Yeah, that did it. Good riddance to that. Nice. Let's see if we can make it up top. Man, what was the point of waiting down there when I could just get the energy I need up top? This platform. Much better. There you go. And now this only has to make it tough. Yeah, you just gotta keep shooting so that way you can pass without getting hurt. Or not, because you're going to get wrecked. Alright, now that it's there, let's try it again. Come on. Hmm. 
There you go. That makes up for the extra life I lost. Now I gotta fight that thing again. And they've added... They've added this. So what do you do? Kind of. Like that. Really? Come on! Much better, but I'm at very low health. Why does this game constantly make me waste this? Yeah. Thanks. no time to play with you. Literally. Yeah, this playthrough is just one of frustration. Is there any wonder why it's over an hour long? Oh, wait. Thanks for the energy, because that's what I need. And for this, we're going to need a triple blade. Good enough. And yes, Mega Man 10 is packed with a whole load of achievement challenges. That is pathetic. Yeah, if you fire all three blades straight at him, you deal major damage that way. And it actually does work. I don't care if it's over an hour long, you guys are gonna get it. That to me is what matters. And with this, we obtain the last weapon. The Rebound Striker. What it basically is that you shoot a ball, and then it hits a wall, and it rebounds. And when that happens, it increases in strength. Nice. Yeah, because it never hurts to be prepared, I'd say. You know what? I think... Uh, this, one Eddie call, and one e -tech. That's what I need. Alright. Oh no. Ugh. Mega Man, are you okay? Oh no, he's been infected by the virus. Dr. White, the medicine making machine is gone. What should we do? Greetings, people of the world. I hope you're enjoying the effects of my little Roborins of virus. If there are any robots who want the cure, all you have to do is come work for me. And don't think Mega Man is going to save you like he usually does. Please come down with a nice case of Robo Enza himself. Now you will finally see the true genius of Dr. Wily. The world is mine! <laughs> That's it! I should have known. This was Dr. Wally's doing all along. I had to... stop. Ugh. No, you're in no condition to do anything. Roll! Mega Man, use this. I thought you took your medicine already. I was saving it, in case a really sick robot has brought in. 
But Rawl, you need it! If I use it, I still can't stop Wily. But if you take it, you can stop him! Thank you, Rawl. Sit tight. I'll stop Dr. Wily and bring back enough medicine for everyone! We're all counting on you, Mega Man. Good luck! Be careful out there. You guys know where this is gonna lead. Next time, we finish up Mega Man 10 with Dr. Wily's Fortress. And you can pretty much see this as the final episode of the road to Mega Man 11. So that's it for this part of Mega Man 10. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and more importantly, click the bell. Doing all this helps me out big time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.